Hi everyone, Siavash here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a calendar and also put in a specific form inside that calendar. Let's say if you're doing, if you're an agency, you're running an agency and you want to book someone with uh, for an SEO report to go through the SEO report you, and you want to basically uh, capture the information that you need for the SEO. So first let's go ahead and build the form. And uh, this is going to be obviously an example form. It's not going to be exactly the same form that you are going to use. I'm just going to add a couple of fields to it so it kind of makes sense. So let's go ahead at the top, click on Forms, Form Builder. And uh, let's go ahead and add a new form, create from scratch. And I'm just going to name it uh, SEO Calendar Form, something like that. So it's not an options. Click on options and I'm going to name this SEO calendar. So let's drop some elements. Uh, we're going to ask them their name, we're going to ask them their email address, their phone number. Uh, we're going to ask them their website. Now let's say you want to grab a couple of competition as well. So I'm going to go custom fields. I'm going to add a new custom field. And this is going to be a single line. And I'm going to name this competition one. So I'm just going to name it comp one. Let's hit save. Ah, group, sorry. I'm going to put it into general info. Let's save that. And let's add another one. This one is going to be competition two. Um, and here, let's put this into general info, save, and let's drop them in here. So let's search for that comp one. So I'm going to add my comp one and the competition number two. There we go. And you can obviously add your placeholder as well. I'm not going to do that. So let's go to uh, quick add and add the button now at the bottom. Now let's make all of these fields required. Full name required, comp one required, website required, comp two required. All right, let's hit save. I'm gonna head back to our calendar. All right, let's just save. Let's go back. Now let's now go ahead and create a calendar. So let's bring myself down to the corner. We're gonna go to the calendar on the left hand side. Calendar settings. And then what we can do, we can go ahead and click on create a new calendar. I'm going to create a simple calendar. I'm going to name this SEO calendar. And for the URL, SEO-calendar2. And you obviously don't want to type exactly the same thing because this needs to be unique, so you want to put something else. Let's go to advanced settings. Now this comes up, you can obviously add your logo. I'm not going to do that. You can add uh, your time, modify them based on days, forms and payments. So this is what we want you to do. So we're going to click on this where it says select form. I'm going to choose the SEO calendar. <coughs> you can let them to add guests if they want to. As well, uh, we can leave the rest alone. Notification, I usually do uh, contact and also allow Google Calendar to send the acknowledgement email as well. Connections, you want to connect it to uh, your uh, Google Calendar if you have or your Outlook. So you should basically link this up inside your integrations with your Google. I haven't done this because it's a demo I can, but you want to definitely do that. Uh, customization, there's not much that you want to do in here. And you can then click on save. And then we're gonna kind of like go through this and see how it's gonna look like. Alrighty. So now let's hit close. All right, so I'm just gonna grab the links if I click on this guy and move myself and then copy the permanent link. Then I can open a new tab and actually paste that there. This is going to come up and I 
I can go ahead and say 3.30 p.m. Scroll down, let's click on continue. And there we go, this is the form. And as you can see, they have to fill the whole thing up and then click on the schedule a meeting. So I'm just gonna do a test actually. Let's just put some stuff in here. Put a number. Let's put an email so we can see that everything actually gets added up. Paste this, control two, paste the other one, number three, confirm, and there we go. It's gonna yeah, get that thing scheduled. Here we are, and if I go back and look at my contacts, I should have that person added. There we go, and if I open that up. What's going to happen is I would be able to see the information that I've provided my website and my competition. So if I hide the empty fields and click on general information, so you can see that I have the google.com, my website, and if I click on additional info, let's just do this. I can find it. So the other information should come in here as well. The comp one and comp two. Uh, I'm not sure why is it not showing up. Probably uh, we need to refresh this page. Let's see. Let me just refresh this page. Because if it's not showing, there is a bug, which means that we need to create a custom field outside that single line thing that we just did. So let's just uh, try this again. This is what live demoing is. I'm not gonna edit this video, so this is how it's gonna look like. All right, let's see. Let's see if that contact shows up. There we go. So you just needed a refresh. So the comp one and comp two showing up and you can always hide the empty fields. There we go, comp one and comp two. Anyway, so I hope this one was helpful. Uh, once again, please do like this video, share, subscribe to your YouTube channel and also my other social media for more tutorial. And yeah, if you have any questions, uh, need any help or anything, you know where to find me. Uh, you should have my link either in the description or link in bio, or just comment down below in the uh, comment, uh, comment section area. All right. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.